how you calculate the total number of host bits is just say total number of network addresses minus two. That's all you have to do. This is your formula. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the fastest way to calculate the total number of hosts on any given IPv4 network. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, wait, uh, couldn't you just use uh, something like a subnet calculator? And you'd be absolutely right. In a realistic scenario, you could easily go online and identify what the number of hosts would be for any given network size. But let's say you're in a situation where you don't have access to that resource. Maybe you're on site with a customer in a, a no internet environment. Or let's say you're testing for an exam where you don't have access to the browser. Or maybe you just wanna test your mental sharpness and see if you still have that edge. Either way, this formula will work for you. Now, I won't be diving deep into anything like host bits or network bits or block sizes or anything like that. This is strictly to give you the, you know, the answer to how many hosts reside on a given network. When you look at a network address, in this case, I have 192.168.0.0 slash 24 which is pretty common. This is the portion of the address that really gives away how many host addresses can reside on this subnet. In this case, this is a slash 24. Now in order to calculate the total number of hosts, the first thing I'll have you do is draw eight lines or nine lines on your paper, seven, eight, nine. And what we're gonna do is we're going to start with the highest CIDR, which is a slash 32. And we're just gonna write that number 32 at the top. And we're going to write the rest of the numbers in descending order. So this will be 31, this would be 30, this would be 29, 28. You get the idea, 27, 25, 24. And really you could do that all the way down to number one but we're gonna stop at 24 in this case, since that's all we need in order to get to, you know, the value of the total number of host addresses on that network. And so the first value here for a slash 32 network is going to be one. And as we move to the left, you'll just keep doubling that number. In this case, this will be two. The next one will be four. For 29, it'll be eight, double eight, that's gonna be 16. Next is 32, then we get to 64, and we get to 128, and now we're at 256. But we haven't yet identified the total number of host addresses. This is just the total number of network addresses that are available for that subnet, but host is a little different. So 32 and 31 will be a little bit different. And that's because there aren't really hosts on these networks. 32, there's only one address that's available there, which means there's no need for a broadcast address or a network identifier address. And the same thing goes for a slash 31. On a slash 31, you typically use this for like point to point links or something like that, or you're certainly not planning for hosts to be on that network. So hosts really come in at a slash 30. So from 30 all the way down <laughs> to one, which would give you the total of like 16 million addresses or whatnot. How you calculate the total number of host bits is just say total number of network addresses minus two. That's all you have to do. This is your formula equals total number of host addresses. So I'm just gonna shrink this. With that being the formula right there, I'm subtracting the network address as well as the broadcast address, which would be the first and last address of this subnet. And that's gonna tell me how many usable host address are on this subnet. So for the instance of a slash 24 network, that means there would be a total of 254 host addresses. So here's the challenge for you. Let me know in the comments what you would be able to, using this formula, don't cheat, don't go online or anything like that, but let me know what would be the total number of usable host addresses on a slash 20. Well, folks, that is the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel as I'll be breaking down in the next video how to identify the very first host address 
as well as the last usable host address in a given network. As always, folks, thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.